Hello, I'm Aaron Pierce with Pierce Aviation, and today we're going to talk about and fly the Eclipse Jet. The Eclipse Jet's an extremely cool little airplane. It's a 6,000 pound max takeoff weight. It makes it the lightest of all light jets and a very light jet kind of with its own category. It flies very much like a uh, light aircraft, like a Baron, very stable, but on steroids. It's got two turbines on it. It has a service ceiling of 41,000 feet and a cruise speed in excess of 350 knots. A real world range of about 1,000 nautical miles. It's an amazing airplane. The guys who uh, care a lot about their ramp presence might be flying in larger jets, but the guys who care a lot about their ROI and are using the aircraft as an industrial aid, the Eclipse is perfect for that. Because you can't transport three people 800 miles for any cheaper than you can in an Eclipse jet. It just doesn't work that way, not with a private jet ever. Now for an owner pilot, this aircraft is so nimble and it's so light and the speed changes so quickly. You can literally be on a five mile final at 250 knots if you wanted to, pull it to idle, configure on the way down and land on the first brick. It makes you feel like an aviation god. So today we're gonna actually take it for a flight and I can show you some of the reasons why. Now from an automation standpoint, the Eclipse Jet has all the tools that the heavier jets have. It even has some that the heavy jets don't have. Like uh, the automation will function with the flight management computer and it'll track and intercept and hold and shoot approaches and climb and descend and anything without touching the controls. If you don't want to touch the controls, <laughs> it'll do all of that for you. It'll also hold an airspeed. It's got auto throttles. So let me demonstrate those for you. I'll go ahead and turn the autopilot on. I've been flying without the autopilot because Frankly, the airplane's fun to fly, but here it is. I'm turning it on. The autopilot's on. We're going to capture the altitude. We're going to put it in heading mode. All right, so 6 0 heading for me. The autopilot's flying. But I'm going 246 knots. Let me see. I want to go slower. I'm going to turn the auto throttle servos on. And I'm going to dial that speed back to 200 knots. Check that out. It's so much fun to fly. Think old Ferrari or an Austin Healey or uh, an MGB, something really light, an old car without power steering. That's how the Eclipse flies. It handles extremely well. You just have to be a little bit forceful with it and you get so much control feedback from it that you really can't paint yourself into a corner as a pilot. In addition to uh, all of the uh, synoptic pages that you would expect in a very high tech aircraft, the, you have to keep in mind, this isn't just a digital representation. It's also a means of controlling these systems. So I can go in and make adjustments to the icing systems, to the pressurization system, flight controls, the environmental control, uh, electronic circuit breakers. This airplane has very few mechanical circuit breakers. Instead, it's a series of relays that um, are constantly monitoring the voltage and amperage of each circuit to make sure that everything is working as it should. For example, if I have a component that's not operating properly, it's going to pull the wrong amount of power and the system's going to shut it off before it can burn out, before it can create a fire hazard of any kind. Nothing has to get hot. The computer knows what amperage and voltage everything's supposed to take. It's got a lot of really cool toys in it. Um, this particular plane also has an interlock braking system, which uh, Considering how light the airplane is, it's a very good mod to have because uh, you don't want to stop a tire and blow it. Uh, light airplanes are more prone to that than heavier planes, I find. But uh, well, look, it's rock solid on 200 knots too. I mean, what a what an awesome machine, right? With the analog brake system, it, uh, this airplane stops pretty quick too. Uh, makes it. Uh, I've got owner pilots, the guys that fly the airplane themselves that are operating out of relatively short airstrips. So I've had enough of the automation flying, so I'm going to turn the autopilot off and head on back. I mean, look how stable. I'm hand flying right now. This airplane is the bump. It's just the easiest airplane to fly ever. A huge shout out to Glenn and Gary Smith for allowing us to use their beautiful airplane for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed making it. Flying the Eclipse is just a blast.
I'll need to get some sandpaper to wipe the grunt off later. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share.